trying to gather the elect before the Lord come back. Done. He's definitely coming back. Because he's definitely on his way. We just be impatient, but he's definitely on his way. Done. Let's get it one of them. That's why, man, you brothers out there with all them other philosophies, like like the scripture said in John, John 4, 48 said what? Yahweh Shah said, you waiting on a sign so you can believe. If you don't see no sign, you don't believe. So, hey, when you when you look up and see the Lord coming on them chariots, hey, it's gonna be too late. It's really too late for you now, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, and that yeah. philosophy, and that philosophy, you're a lover of wisdom. You're supposed to be a lover of this wisdom. Y'all bashing out with shot words. Not not the, the wisdom of the heathen. You know? Go ahead. Yeah. Revelations 1 and 7. 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with the clouds, and every eye shall see him. What's that cloud? That's what, what the so-called white man call a UFO. You see? That's what the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of, Esau, called a UFO. Go ahead. Behold, he cometh with clouds, mm -hmm. and every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. So when the Lord come back, who you ignorantly call Jesus, when he come back, who you ignorantly call Jesus, he gonna come back in these chariots. Which is so called white man called UFO. They were scared to get them. That's the cloud. You know what And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see him. Everybody gonna look up in the sky and see who they ignorantly call Jesus, which in the Hebrew his name is Yahweh Shah. That's the most high son. And the most high name who people ignorantly call God is Yahweh. Right. Uh, and they also which, which pierce him and all kindreds of the earth shall wall because of well. him well because of him yeah even the ones that pierced him 2,000 years ago the Romans that pierced him and stuck him in the side they gonna see him because it's reincarnation in the Bible they here today we don't know who they are but the Lord himself knows they gonna see him and he gonna get them too for doing what they did. <laughs> hey man. You know? So the Lord himself gonna make his debut in our time. You know? In our time, very soon, man. This white man is going down, man. America is falling, man. What he tell him? What he say in the uh, Matthew 19? He said in the regeneration. Yup. Still so sit on 12 throne. Move the 12 tribes of Israel. Uh, Psalms 68 and 17. Mm -hmm. The chariots of, of of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, mm -hmm. and as in Zion. Uh, uh, Zion in, in the holy place. Yep. So the Lord coming in chariots, thousands and, and millions of chariots, man. You see? What's that? A million? Uh, what you say that was? Two That's a, 200 million. 200 million. You see? That's how many chariots Y'all about shit, man. I wish I got. You see? That's how it coming back, man. That's how the Lord himself is coming back and cherish, man. Right? What you in the car, UFO, like a white man. Like you said, devil. you take, uh, you say 20,000, and then 1,000, you, you multiply that together. You multiply two numbers, it's simple, you get the number. And it's a lot. Like he it says, there's so many, the sky gonna be full. Yup, there's gonna be a plague over the whole earth. For the Some, white man. Somebody, somebody had a video about a year ago, I saved it, but Esau them took it down with them chariots. Some bastards. Them chariots, uh, they had a loud horn go off, right? In the sky, you couldn't see nothing. And all of a sudden, you start seeing these chariots that look like, look like, uh, look like lights and water drops. It was like, just they just kept going across the sky from one end to the other, and they never stopped. 
Ram Horn. I mean, yeah, it was Ram Horn went out. And I mean, the video went for like, I think it was like 14 minutes. Yeah. 13, 14 minutes. And that whole time, the, the carriage just kept going across the street. I was like, man, that's gonna be a lot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Most times when you're starting to go to war, man. War, man. War. That's what it's about. War. That's the time we're in. War. That's the season that we're in. Please ask you chapter 3. War. That's why I said, whoa. Destruction. This is Luke 21 and 11. Well, start at 10. Then said he unto them, Nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Yeah, that's why you see them comments in chariots, you know? That's why you see the comments coming down. That was one over, I think it was uh, sometime this week or last week. I can't remember exactly. It was over Portland, Oregon. And they say it was shaped like a pyramid. Yeah. <laughs> That's how wild it is. Most high showing them signs. Man. Hey, man, I just went on uh, the internet today. And I was, uh, well, yeah, yesterday, yesterday, Slocky. And I was looking up, I typed in the last, the last month's UFO sighting. In the month of October, there was something like, 140 and 160 UFO sightings over the world. And this, this is November. November, we got, we've had uh, something like 54 so far. I think the last one they just said that they just saw was in uh, Blevlin, Blevlin, Blevlin Kentucky. And then they had one in Tennessee, they saw some sightings. Now I just talked to the brother, a not bar, a not bar. Because his last name, uh, I just learned, uh, he said his name, Anap, but it's Ba at the end because somebody else had that name first. So when you take on a name that somebody else have, you have to put Ba at the end. So Anap Ba. <laughs> so uh, I was talking to him. He said once he got out of the hospital, October 26th, he was outside with his wife and his neighbors. And he said he saw 30 amber lights going across the sky. He said a dumbass neighbor was talking about it was some damn uh, military helicopters. <laughs> so he said, you know, the spirit, he couldn't hold the spirit. He had to go ahead and tell him what it was. Get it off his chest, which, you know, hey, you told him you got it off your chest. It's on them now. He told him what it was, and then he said after them 30 lights just, just disappeared, they just gradually went across the sky, he said about 30 more come from, from the same direction. Yeah. Amber lights. And then and Ezekiel tell you that they'll tell you about the amber lights. So he said his old lady said, Well, how you know it's a lot of ships? She said, it might be one big ship. Could, possibility. So could be the mother ship. You know? Because you know? they, they can uh, not have they sell, they can have like a they can just show you the lights that you see on the bottom. Isaiah chapter six. Yep. The wheel the wheel inside the wheel. That's Ezekiel. Yeah, Ezekiel. So, those, that's a fearful sight, man. You know? And, and uh, I was just watching Thor. Shit, that ship that the old dude was in, the, the evil side he was in, shit, that shit would disappear just in the middle of a uh, flight. That's the way them chariots do, man. Cunt. They go up on the wall, they disappear, man. They so fast, Esau can't catch them, man. Cunt. You see, the most high moving lightning speed, man. You know? Angels moving lightning speed, man. You know, and then like I said, that comet was a pyramid, but you, uh, like I was saying, you say, damn, he said the comet was shaped like a pyramid. Guess what? When you look up the word pyramid, when you go to the etymology, it's a, it's a, 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 a grave for the dead. <laughs> so America's dead, man. Right? That's a sign of America's dead, man. Right? You know, it was in the ancient time, it was a, it was a, a tomb for royal people. That was them pyramids and stuff. It tells you in the Maccabees that uh, 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 one of the Maccabees uh, uh, built the pyramid. In the Maccabees. So Israel built some pyramids, man. Right? Tell you that in Exodus, the first chapter, out of hardcore bunnies. You know? But that's just one to grow on, one for you to know. Alright, cool, Zechariah 5 and 3. 
Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth, goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. That's that curse. That's the curse. Which is for the so-called white man. It's going to be a curse unto him. You know, it's going to be a curse. It's going to be a curse for him in two-thirds when them chairs show up. Right. You see? Why the harm going to come to you, people? Because most of the son, he sent his son back from war, man. You know? Go ahead. Right. Then, then that word, when you look that word curse up, it's a Hebrew word, uh, A-L-A-H, Allah, meaning, uh, uh, like, like, uh, Denounce or condemnation or damnation, yeah. which that word is ex 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 uh, execration, right? So that curse, like matter of fact, let me grab, let me grab by, one scripture. By the horn, basically. Uh, yeah, it's by the horn, man. So when they, so when you see them chairs in the air and you see it all over the all over the earth, which the so-called white man call UFO. Which the Lord, that's what he coming back in, because he said in Acts chapter one, that's what he left in. So when 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 they see that all over the world, that curse all over the world, that means bodily harm coming into the to the inhabitants. So it's gonna be detrimental to you people, man, who, who, who are not part of the elect. This I can man, that's spirit, that's spirit. Watch this. Watch how the spirit works. This Isaiah 24 and 6. Therefore has the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men are left. So them ladies, just like you seen in the war of the worlds, just like you see in the war of the worlds, the Lord gonna come back and, 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 and he gonna be shooting them laser beams at them chariots. Just like you see in the war of the world with Tom Cruise, them laser beams gonna be zapping people, man. You know? Esau, Esau, Esau put subliminal messages in the movie. Esau know that that's how the Lord coming back. That's why he got them. That's why he got them cameras in the sky, in the space, cause he trying to look out. He trying to watch. But hey, the Most bro. High, the Most High got Esau in the trick bag, man. He don't know he's set up, man. Hey, he let him he see it. He don't understand. He don't understand the Most High. Hey, he, he let him see it. He let him see it though. With the uh, with NASA. When they right before they were talking about that government shutdown, them NASA, them NASA scientists saw them three ships coming towards the Earth. So what they do? They furlough 96 percent of, of, of the people who work there. So they they had to get rid of everybody just so they wouldn't know what was going on. So they won't tell it. And then the one dude who reported it said the three 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 large huge ships went behind the moon. <laughs> so. He saw no man. His destruction is, is coming now, man. He know, man. The elites, the elites Come. know, man. The elite, the average white people, they they know something going on because they lose their home and they losing losing money out of their business. So they know something is happening. But the elites, the elites know the Lord on his way back to deliver his people, meaning the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the elect out of them. They know that. That's why they want to try to do try to destroy us, man. That's why they want to uh, 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 put chemicals all in the food and, and, and in the air, man, and, 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 and corrupting everything, man, because they want to try to get rid of us, man. They know the Lord is coming back to deliver the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans and elect out of them and put them so-called white folks in slavery, man, which is the devil that the Bible speaks of, which their biblical nationality are Edomites. They're a nation of uh, uh, Edomites. That's their biblical nationality. They put Caucasian and, and white on themselves. White meaning pure or harmless. They don't fit them so-called white people when you look at their track, track record. And they not white, they red. They different shades of red. That's why down south they call them rednecks. <laughs> you see? And they even admit 